some Utah prep today, uh, just about 15 minutes worth. We got some good work for the young guys. We did a couple of live periods with the younger players, just trying to uh, bring them along. So it was a good day, and uh, these kids start class tomorrow. So they've got some things to take care of this afternoon, and uh, we'll come out tomorrow morning, practice, and then take a couple days off, and Sunday will be the start of uh, our true Utah week. So I like the schedule. I don't mind having these buys. I don't mind the awkward week. I think it works to our advantage. and. Uh, so we just got to get ourselves ready to go for Pac-12 play. How's it work to your advantage? It works to our advantage because it allows us some extra time to prepare for an opponent. It allows us some extra time to work with the younger players. Uh, I think this week it works to our advantage because we start these, these guys start school tomorrow. And so not having the distraction of having a game on Saturday allows them to really focus in on school you know and getting organized in that part of their lives you know they haven't had to deal with that for the first three weeks and now they do and so i just think it would be maybe a little bit overwhelming to prepare for a game the first week of school so i think it's just a, a real nice transition for them is there an ideal spot if you got to choose where you took your buys is there an, an ideal time where you would use them would you spread them out you... uh well i you know I think last year we only had one bye. This year we have really two. And, and to me, it's almost two and a half because you have that Thursday game. You get a couple extra days before your, your, the next game. Uh, but I think if there was an ideal week, it would be the week that we start school. There's so much going on. You know, there's so much transition. They're moving into different dorms. They're trying to find their classrooms. You know, they're, they're getting used to a new practice schedule. We go in the mornings. So I think this is a perfect week to have the bye. I really like it. I hope we can do it every year. How much does it help the team not to have school through the first four, four or five weeks? Of I think it's an advantage. I really do. You know, I think that it allows us just a, the opportunity to focus on football only. Uh, I think it's a tremendous advantage. Yeah. And, uh, and, but we still have to be able to make this adjustment now, you know, going forward. We have to be able to balance academics, athletics, and then the social part, you know, because the social part changes now as well. You know, you you add about 25,000 students to this campus that haven't been here for the last three weeks. So everything just kind of changes. That's why I think this week is really critical. And, uh, but these kids, they, they, they adjust, they know how to do it. They handle it well. And, and we, uh, we keep pretty close tabs on them. Do you think the practice times, start times make a big difference to have it early in the morning versus the afternoon or whatever? I do, and that's why we do it. You know, we like to get them when they're fresh. Um, before they're, you know, worn down from a day of class. Uh, we like to start the day on the field. We do a lot early anyway. You know, our, our weightlifting sessions and everything are in the mornings. Uh, and then we bring them back later in the afternoon. So we kind of bookend them, you know. And I think it's a great way to keep track of them. I think it's a great way to get them up and going in the morning. Uh, I think it's a great way to feed them because we feed them after practice, and that's the most important meal. And, uh, and then we get to see them at the end of the day as well. So. You know, I think at this at this age, it's important that we keep track of them. You know, we're responsible for them, and this gives us a really great opportunity to do that the, the way we're we're scheduled. With school starting, have you added any more of those walk-ons to on scholarship? We did that after the first game. That's when we were allowed to, so we did. And right now, there's no plans to add anyone else. There's unless somebody shows up that is uh, you know that we didn't know about. Right now, we're kind of locked into what we've got. Damian Thigpen seems pretty confident he's coming back for Utah. Is that, are you as confident as yes. he is? Or is anyone as confident as he is? He's right? coming back for Utah. It's a definite. Okay. He's going to play versus Utah. Now, I can't tell you how many snaps he's going to play. It would be great to get him a few carries. And, and you know, it's not that you want to get your running backs hit, but when you're coming off of an injury like that, it's important that you take some shots. So I think you build confidence when you do. So we need to get him a couple carries at least, and we will. It's hard because we've got a lot of really good backs, but it's important we get we get Damian some carries. Are you past the point where you're not cringing anymore when he takes a cut or when he gets No, injured? you know, I was three weeks ago, but now I'm not. Now, and I'm not just because of his body language. When you watch him out here, like you said, he's very confident. And he he's, looks like he's going full speed through his cuts. He doesn't tiptoe through the holes. He's hitting it. He doesn't look hesitant at all. So I think that he's got a high degree of confidence, which is, it gives me a high degree of confidence. How do you feel about him uh, playing special teams coming off the injury? What aspect of special teams? Being kick returner? Not yet, no. Not yet. How about a gunner? A gunner, fine. Yeah, anything that like that I think is fine. Um, 
I need to see him. We need to see him. He needs to play, carry the ball from the running back position before we put them back there on a kickoff return. You know, I just don't think that would be the prudent thing to do. So there's still an aspect of protecting him, you know, and working him back at the right pace. And so just to throw him back there and say return kicks, I don't think that would be smart. Now, who knows two, three weeks down the road because he is very explosive. Okay? All right, thanks, everybody.